Alicia, this is my very first Poonchki day, and I'm amazed at the amount of people out here today. Now, my favorite thing right now is is the, the time frame. It, there's a question mark after 3 a.m. because I'm assuming that's when maybe they, and, and when they run out, they'll close down, not sure, but I couldn't even describe the smell of fried dough right now. I mean, it's like filling my nostrils and my jacket will probably smell after this, but let me show you the line. Some of these people have been uh, in line for two hours. Uh, that's crazy. And, you know, they say it's all worth it. A lot of people are making a long voyage, a long trek to get their poonski. And as you can imagine, the preparation is intense. So let's take a look at that. While the pastry options at New Palace Bakery are endless, this time of year, most customers are here for one thing, the doughy, sugary, jelly-filled goodness known as punchki. We're going to get some boxes with four and then smaller boxes. The craze lines up with Fat Tuesday, a Christian holiday that encourages people to indulge in their guilty pleasures before having to give something up for Lent. A lot of times we have customers come like generation upon generation, to the bakery, so that's the nice thing. It's a long observed tradition, especially here in Hamtramck, which was once primarily occupied by people of Polish descent. They may get credit for the pastry's inception, but on... Punch it, everybody's Polish, <laughs> so everybody can enjoy it. New Martha Washington Bakery has been serving punchki to the community for over 40 years. Owner Susa Backage says on the big day, lines of customers will wrap around the block. It's amazing to see how happy people are when they come up to the counter and, I mean, after waiting for an hour or two hours in line. Two hours? Uh-huh. Last year was longer. Keeping up with the pace and the volume can be difficult, especially with staffing and supply shortages. In the end, when it's all said and done, you have to make it happen. Now, whether I, you know, I have enough, I don't know. I won't know until Tuesday if I, you know, if I run out of something, that would be a first time. <laughs> Punchki Day has become nothing short of a phenomenon. And even though Susie Ognanovich and her employees pull all-nighters to keep business flowing, a satisfied customer makes it all worth it. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. That's the main thing. That's our focus, that everybody gets their punchki, everybody enjoys it on the tradition. And after that, we all feel good and it's a good feeling. I think my favorite quote there is no matter how long the lines are, they have to make it happen and they are making it happen. Uh, it looks like uh, they're getting people in and out pretty fast. And I know they have some set boxes uh, and orders that makes it a little bit easier to fulfill them and make sure everyone gets their punchki. And again, the closing time here is a big question mark. So we'll see uh, if they run out. Hopefully not. Uh, but we'll be out here all morning to give you uh, all the details. Live in Hamtramck, I'm Alex Bozar for 7 Action News. And Alex, you mentioned this is your first uh, Punchki day. Have you ever had a Punchki? And if not, we got to get you one. So actually, when I was out here uh, to do the story on the preparations, I had three in one day, and uh, I felt a <laughs> little bit go. sick. But it's so worth it. It was so, it was so good. It was so good. And I spent, uh, you know, extra 20 minutes at the gym, so it was totally fine. Um, you know, so good, and I'll probably have more today. <laughs> necessary reporter involvement. You were doing important research. It is all good. Thank you so much. A ride and passage for all the reporters. Alex, wonderful report.